What's happening guys, it's Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video. So it is official man, Daniel Dubois, Joe Joyce, April the 11th at the O2. Seek and Destroy is the name they're giving it. Now, listen, I'm very, very happy about this news. Uh, it was been in the pipeline for a while. They said that um, it was quite public that the talks had begun in like, maybe what, end of December, early January now. So uh, we knew that this was in the running. And it's great to see, man. It's good to see uh, Daniel Dubois and Joe Joyce taking on each other. I made a couple of videos about it previously, saying that, you know, I'd love to see this fight happen. And, um, you know, it's a big step up for Dubois, in my opinion, compared to some of the fights he's been fighting. And um, it's a good, good fight for Joe Joyce. I mean, it's not a fight he had to take. And um, I said that in previous videos that, you know, Joe Joyce doesn't really have to go down this route. He was a European mandatory challenger. He was set to fight for that title. And I think an eliminator, no, I think actually a world title fight was ordered between him and Hergovic. So he could have went down that route, which would have been more plausible because, you know, Joe Joyce, he probably feels that Daniel Dubois hasn't competed anywhere near the level that he has. And, um, you know, he would probably be looking up rather than going, I guess, wouldn't say a step down, but it's like, you know, we know Dubois is going to get to like the top level. But I think um, like where Dubois is at now, he didn't have to fight him. But he's gone that route, you know, fair play to him, didn't have to do it. So, you know, I take my hat off to everybody in this. Frank Warren for making it happen, Sam Jones, uh, Joe Joyce and Daniel Dubois all for letting it happen, man. So it's set to be a fantastic fight at the O2. And yes, it's on BT box office. I've seen people, you know, complaining, oh, why is it on BT box office? But listen, man, I've said to people, like, if the standard of pay-per-view today isn't nowhere near as it should be, and I think we can all, as boxing fans, accept that. And um, for me, I'm, I'm just going to go out and say it. I'll happily buy this fight. Uh, £20, whatever, man, I'll buy this fight. And um, I'll, prob I'll be there. But, I mean, if I was, like, watching it, then I would happily buy it. But... Um, some people complaining about the pay-per-view, but that's just, I mean, some people, some people complain about everything. But uh, listen, let's just get to the fight, man. I think that it's a great spectacle and um, it's going to end in a knockout. Like, it's simple as. I can't see this going to points. I can see both men going for the knockout. Joe Joyce is a come forward. You know, he's a clubbing type fighter. Like, you know, he just swings his arms and, you know, it doesn't really look effective on the outside, but it's so effective when you consider how good Joe Joyce is. When you consider his background in the amateurs and how far this guy's gone in the Olympics, um, in the World Series of Boxing, which is a semi-professional tournament, uh, this guy has fought many people better than, um, or of a higher standard that Daniel Dubois has. And um, he's going to feel like that he's not scared of Dubois. And I think he made it pretty clear in that press conference yesterday that Daniel Dubois is not a type, the fighter that he's af afraid of. And um, he's going to take it to him. I think that that's a given. And Daniel Dubois, there's only one way that he fights, which is literally seek and destroy. He'd go out there and um, he's been ruthlessly taking out his opponents. So I know that many people are picking him to win, but there is a, there, are, there are a few people that are picking Joe Joyce as well. So um, I, I'm really looking forward to this fight, man. And yeah, Daniel Dubois will come and look to take out Joyce and Joyce will look to do the same. Obviously, the harder punch will sit with Daniel Dubois. Uh, but Joe Joyce, his clubbing punches, they may not look much from the outside, but... They are effective, man, and um, who knows how Danny Dubois is going to react when he gets hit. I've seen him get hit a couple of times, uh, I think it was against Richard Latte, and um, he didn't look that comfortable to me when he got hit. I'm not saying that he was wobbled or he was hurt or anything like that, but you could see in that fight when he got hit back a couple of times, um, he didn't, I mean, he took it well on the chin, I mean, he wasn't like ever going to go over, but I mean, he didn't take it the best, so yeah, I'm going to be interested to see how Dubois gets himself in there with a guy who is coming in there with just as much ambition to win. And I've said this again with like Nathan Gorman, I said that he would be going in there with the ambition to win. And going into that fight, some people were picking Nathan Gorman to win it, but that turned out to be a mismatch. However, in this fight with Joe Joyce, I mean, Joe Joyce, he's um, like his pedigree and his background, it speaks for itself. So if Daniel Dubois was to run through him like he did Nathan Gorman, then that would be an emphatic statement for me. So um, let's just see what happens, man. But I'm very happy about this fight announcement and uh, it's going to be taking place at the O2, like I said. 
Um, tickets are available now, so if you guys want to go there, make sure you pick the tickets up. Uh, they're online, I think it's axs.com or something like that. So yeah, feel free to go on there and grab your tickets if you are going. I'm going to be there, you know, we're going to have the fan cams and we're going to be speaking to the fans after the fight, getting their opinions as we do. And uh, yeah, what can I say, man? I'm just really looking forward to this one. Very happy about the announcement. And um, it's, it's not in terms of the actual fighters' personalities, but it just reminds me of Anthony Joshua and Dylan White back in 2015. Um, like those two were both on the come up and like they both took each other on uh, both had a chip on their shoulder wanted to fight each other you know there was beef between the two um, I guess there's a little bit of beef between Daniel Dubois and Joe Joyce nothing major but um, you know especially at the press conference there was a bit of tension there maybe they were just sick of each other through spending the whole day doing tours around like you know Good Morning Britain and everywhere else but um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to these two going at it. Both of them have got something to prove. Both of them want to have ambitions to get to the top. So um, I'm expecting a very, very good fight, man. I'm very happy about this announcement. But let me know your thoughts and opinions on it, though, man. Drop your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. How do you see this fight going? What's your early predictions? Um, like I said, many people in my um, like social media feed are kind of picking Dubois to win. But there are a few people that are picking Joyce too, you know, uh, he's not been ruled out at all. There are probably a bit more people than normal now are picking Joyce. Uh, maybe it's because of the reaction of many people picking Dubois, I don't know. But I'll do my predictions and everything else as we get closer to the fight. But just, you know, getting closer, like seeing the fighters in camp, um, seeing how they're preparing for the fight and all that stuff. It's, uh, it's going to be good, man. So yeah, great fight for British boxing. One that I'm happy about. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.